Tampa's residential garbage rates have skyrocketed over the past five years after the city council approved millions of dollars in rate increases to keep up with rising costs. But as I-Team investigator Adam Walser discovered, some of that money you're paying is going to employees just sitting around on the job. On a quiet Ybor City street beside a no-parking sign, our camera repeatedly caught Tampa Solid Waste Truck 1277 parked with its engine running. GPS records show it was in the same spot 93 minutes that day. See plenty of garbage around that he could be picking up right now. On another afternoon, GPS reports indicate truck 1277 was in the same spot for two hours 25 minutes before it headed back to the yard. The employees in the truck make about $20 an hour. And to be honest with you, I was uh, very disappointed. Mark Wilfock is director of Tampa Solid Waste Department. He oversees 200 employees who collect garbage and recycling from 79,000 homes and businesses. The initial premise of garbage collection was built upon hard work, you know, backbreaking work. But new technologies have made the job quicker and easier with bigger automated trucks and fewer trips to the landfill. Are there others out there? Um, I believe there are. And, and let me just go ahead and, and say now that we have discovered some of that behavior. Uh, probably maybe about a year ago or so as we became more efficient. But even though every truck is equipped with GPS tracking, managers didn't know this crew was sitting around until we asked for the records. We followed solid waste trucks for weeks and found them riding all over the city during early afternoon hours, burning up fuel you paid for. Sometimes employees stopped for meals or snacks. Other times they hung out with colleagues, but rarely did we see trucks picking up garbage during the afternoon. That doesn't sit well with customers. If you're, you're getting paid to do your job, you, you know, you should be doing something. Do you have a job? Not at the moment, I don't. Would you like a job? Yes, absolutely. You need to put your time in, just like everybody else. Since 2012, Tampa's residential pickup rates have risen 38%. Commercial rates are up 76%. So they're getting all that, all that they can get. Tampa has by far the highest garbage collection rates of any city in the Tampa Bay region at nearly $35 a month. That's more than twice what customers in Bradenton pay at less than $17 a month. Some of the price you're paying is going to overtime. Ten employees have racked up at least $100,000 in OT pay over a decade. One driver claimed $200,000. But you wouldn't guess that based on the dozens of trucks that head back to the yard hours before the shift ends. A driver may have to come back to the office or to our yard to attend a meeting. Do you have too many people? Uh, I think that needs to be determined. I think we have to get out and do an evaluation. As far as the men in truck 1277, one resigned, the other was terminated. And if these guys say we only had like six dumpsters to take care of, we didn't have enough work to do, mm -hmm. would they be telling me the truth or? They could be, you know, they, they very well could be. I would think Well that then, is that fair to fire them if they don't have enough work to do? If they don't have enough to work to do, again, that is something that we have already instilled in our employees um, to report back to our yard, speak with your supervisor, see what other work is out there that needs to be done. Will we see anybody sitting under a tree for two hours this time next year? Uh, I don't think you will. Uh, I can promise you that. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.